What's up, everybody? DJ A Rock here. Just did my first official live stream on Facebook, you know, and I wanted to make sure when I did go live, I wanted it to be right. So I researched and researched, trial and error, trial and error, and made a lot of mistakes and figured out some simple solutions. So I'm hoping I can help the next DJ out uh, just with a short video. So I'm going to try to keep this video under two minutes, maybe three minutes, but. I'm going to show you one of my biggest mistakes I made trying to design my scenes and OBS was the overlays. Uh, a lot of people are trying to get their pictures on and it's cropping out their actual video. They want to have you know, their logo on the corner of the screen. People are putting down in the far corner to get donations and tips to Cash App. So I'm going to show you where I made my mistake and how I fixed it. Um, Real quick, so let's jump into OBS. And I'm doing all this through OBS right now. So I'm not using no external camera. I have two Logitech 920 set up. So I have my camera set up and I already have a scene here. And you can see this is a scene I made. But I'm going to show you how I made this scene. So we're going to go to plus, and this is in scenes. We're going to do scene eight. So now we're in scene eight. You see the source. You need to pick out your source. So we're going to add our camera. So we're going to go to our video capture device. I already have all my cameras inside, already labeled. So if I want to do my low camera, it points to my equipment here. If I want to do my high camera, this is this high camera. So if you wanted to come up on the front, say, let's do the high camera. So we're going to do high camera here. So you see our video, and we can move this around. We can crop it out. We can have dead space on the side. If you want to do something like this, you can put your logo here. You can have whatever you want down on the bottom. But let's go through and stretch it out, fill it up here. But let's leave some open space there. Now, what you want to do is you need to add your audio. Add audio. So we're going to add audio here. Audio input. There, and we're going to go audio input here. Add audio, existing audio line input so now we got our audio in so now this screen is going to give us our audio so when you transition you don't lose your audio now this is the killer you want to add your image now the image has to be a PNG you can't use a JPEG or it's going to cover your screen you can't use a PDF a PNG works the best because it's transparent add existing and I got one called cash app now, this is the image itself. You see how it's already overlaying on my picture here? But I'm going to put it down in this dead space so it shines a little more when people are looking at it. So I'm going to do the transitions here. So I wanted to fit this into the screen, try to get it as centered as possible. And there you go. So you got your, you got your equipment there. You have all your information here. You do the transition. See, this is one I did before. Now, you want to add another image. You can put as many images you want on it. You just don't want to go too wild because it kind of takes away from what you're doing. So, I got this A Rock Live. So, now this is the image. Now, you can go through and stretch it, move it around, set it up here, make it small, you make it large. You can go here. Or if you want to change the picture up, say you want to make the picture here. And you want to set it up like that. And you want to, you can do with all whatever you want, right? But, see, there you go. See, but now I'm losing where I got as far as tip jar and everything else in there. But it's just something I'm playing around with. Um, just seeing a lot of DJs, you know, who knows when we're going to be back working again. So a lot of DJs, this is their main source of income, including myself. So, you know, a little bit of money go a long way. So, yeah, but you can mess around with it. The key is trying to keep the image, you know, above your video. So, and then play around with the color because some of your colors, like, I have black and all my equipment is black. So, if I put that on the low camera that's aimed on equipment, you couldn't see any of the text. It got washed out. So, just something to mess around with. But let's go here. Stretch this back out. Move this back around, and voila, it's done. So it's, it's very simple. And then the next thing you can do is, when you do transitions, go transition. So that's there now. 
And I got a couple different scenes built. So my low camera transition out. You can see the logo up here. You can see my regular logo there. And you can just keep going through the different transitions. Like this one right here is the front facing cam. Transition there. So if I want to get the front facing cam, which a lot of people are doing. If you don't have multiple cameras, you can do your front facing cam. You can set that up. And it's very simple just by going to add cameras and you know, video capture device. You can find the camera on the computer and set it up and put your watermarks and everything else down inside of the video. So I hope that helped you out. You know, like I said, it took me a little bit to figure out. The biggest mistake I made was the files wasn't PNG. Um, so they wasn't transparent laying on top of the video. So, hey, hit me up. DJ A Rock Ohio on Instagram. More videos on YouTube, forward slash Class A Sounds, and of course, arockentertainment.com. So thanks for watching. Keep on partying. And uh, let's hope we all get back to work here real soon. Peace.